what is up youtube people it is 11 43 and it is officially four months out 16 weeks out from the usa cha uh, championship in las vegas and um i'm just getting out of the gym um had a really hard day guys um woke up at 5 a.m went to work was in the sun for about eight hours um had to come home and do uh, a bunch of client check-ins and uh then I had to drive about 40 minutes to go to a tax accountant and do my taxes for the year. Um, and was there from 7.30 to about 9.20, almost two hours. And then it was time to go to the gym. And 100% guys, I did not want to go to the gym. But as I left the tax accountant and as I was driving in the direction of the gym, I kept thinking, you know, the guy who's going to be standing center stage would be at the gym today, even though he's had a hard day, even though things just didn't work out the way that he hoped that they did, he would still show up, he would still put in the work. So that's what I did, because that's my goal, and that's my motivation. So guys... Uh, yeah, if you got a goal, do everything you can for it. Don't give in, don't give up, stick to it, believe in yourself when nobody else does. Um, yeah, so, hope you guys are doing well, and this is probably just going to be the first part of the video for this week, so we'll see what else gets recorded. Peace out, bye guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I probably need to text Sarah though. And ask her if it's okay if we film, like, her basically hurting me and me dropping me at the bones. We should just pull her. I don't imagine that she would be weird. Probably even get guard out with this. Fitness. I think I got the L.
now, ladies and gentlemen, the fun fact here is these are called the Michael Scott Curls, the legendary paper salesman. <laughs> is up my YouTube people. Hey, so that was a back day workout. Um, and in case you're wondering, the uh, Zach that I shouted out during those rack pulls, his name is Zach Atkin. Um, you should go and follow him on Instagram. Uh, kid is freaking huge. I think he's 20 or 21. Um, but he was the uh, 2017, uh, I think national junior teen uh, like champion. I can't remember the exact title at this second, but basically he's a Banff and he's huge and you're gonna see him on the IFBB Pro stage here sometime soon. Anyways guys, so now I'm done with that, I'm actually headed over to my friend's house. She is an athletic trainer, recovery therapist, kind of like just an all around awesome person to have uh, work on your body and like fix things that are going wrong with you. Uh, so what she's going to be doing is she's going to be working on my uh, chest and biceps tonight. And uh, so I'm going to drive over there and see if maybe I can get her to explain some of her tools and what she's going to be doing and see if we can record a little bit of the session. I don't really see her having an issue with that, but uh, hopefully we can get some footage there for you guys. I'm pretty sure you can hear that. It's like it's your bicep for the noises. All right, so what was that sound, Sarah? The crunching of your yes. soul. <laughs> uh, that is groups of adhesions in your muscle fibers. Um, you develop those when you break the tissue down. Everyone thinks that as soon as you start lifting, your tissue breaks down and then all of a sudden starts rebuilding muscle tissue. And that's not the case. It works like damaging any other tissue. You develop scars and adhesions, and if that muscle is ready to grow, that's when you start developing mass. But that doesn't happen until eight weeks, 12 weeks. Um, it takes a long time for your body to gather that it needs to develop more muscle. Because mm -hmm. your body works off of the said principle, specific adaptations to impose demands. And so instead of developing more muscle fibers or more dense muscle, um, more dense muscle meaning more muscle per square inch. Mm -hmm. You just develop a lot of adhesions and these adhesions make the fascia stick a little bit more to the muscle itself. So when, so your, your fascia has a tensile strength of steel and so you can't like break up fascia. It doesn't work mm -hmm. that way. And so all I'm doing <clears throat> is essentially enhancing the lubrication and filling up your muscle tissue itself with blood, because as we bring blood into the area, as I break up your adhesions, blood will remove the waste, right? But that doesn't mean that you're not gonna be sore, because this is still body work, right? Mm -hmm. um, you'll still end up with waste in the muscle tissue itself. And so it does still hurt. Um, breaking up adhesions is not very fun. It's a painful experience. Um, and if, if you're not in like mild amounts of discomfort at the bare minimum, whoever's doing it is not doing it right. So what I do is I combine uh, IA stim, so instrument assisted soft tissue mo mobility with massage therapy to move muscle, like physically move the muscle promote healing and hopefully provide you the ability to have deeper septums, which are those definition lines, 
fewer muscle adhesions, which means that you can contract the muscle harder and fill it more with blood to produce a better aesthetic approach. Mm -hmm. And then we stretch the muscle so that your range of motion isn't affected. And over time, I can give you a better pump because we increase your vascularity and the efficiency of your vascularity. Mm. Um, normally, this reddening is just blood coming into the area. As soon as you get these lovely, like super red marks through here, that's petechia. That's the muscle telling me that it's done. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to go very hard. I'm really not pushing very hard. I'm a teeny tiny woman, and so I don't like. Oh, almost dropped the phone. Think I'd have to push super hard, but I don't. Yeah. Um, yeah, your pec minor would be really good to get some noise. But yeah, you don't have to push very hard. This isn't yeah. about damaging the muscle. It's about trying to help it heal. Mm -hmm. And sometimes your body needs assistance. It's an efficient machine, but that doesn't mean that you can't do things to help. Yeah, relax. What she doesn't understand, guys, is it's hard to relax when she's hurting you. Or excuses. <laughs> All righty, my YouTube peeps. So that is um, Sarah and um, yeah, I'll take a video when I get home, show you kind of the damage that she did because she did my chest and my biceps as well. Um, she didn't want to record, um, she didn't want me recording during the biceps because that was the uh, really painful part where um, I may have dropped a couple of choice words and uh, cried a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, but you'll see uh, my arms, um, probably in like a clip or two once I get home because uh, I actually have to head kind of like half hour away to where I live and um, I'm gonna have to stop at the gym do a half hour cardio before heading home to actually eat and then show you guys what happened to my biceps so anyways um, see you guys at the gym what is up guys so um, here at the gym it's uh, the next morning so I did half hour cardio last night woke up fast at cardio here for half an hour and now I, the next clip is going to be of my biceps and my chest to show you kind of the fatigue and the, and kind of the, the healing that's going on now um, so i did say damage in the next in the last clip um and when i say that it's not like a bad thing it's not really damage it's more of um she's releasing certain things inside your muscle so that it heals better. So it looks bad and it looks like damage because it's, it's the red spots, it's the red marks, but what it really is is it's loosening up a lot of the, the blood and plasma and all those sort of things that build up along those adhesions uh, that allows your body to get that stuff out and actually heal. Uh, so it's a good thing to get your body worked on may hurt while you're doing it but that's just a sign that you haven't been taking care of yourself so take care of yourself better guys so next clip and then the end of the video all right guys so i'm going to show you some of the damage just remember i'm 16 weeks out so don't judge me by the fact that i'm kind of soft in the midsection i mean it's kind of standard for bodybuilders you know you go through soft season shredded season whatever but anyways let's get here that is kind of the left side there Got some in the pack, just some redness, some petechia. I think that's how you pronounce it. See, this right here is what is crazy. Uh, Cause you see that kind of bruise on the side of my arm there. Um, so when Sarah touched that, like the first time she wasn't even like going for it. She just like kind of grazed it when she was doing my bicep. Holy smokes guys. I about lost it and, and about died. It hurt so bad. So I've been having issues with my left elbow. I thought that it was like tennis elbow or tendonitis or something. I think it was something, I think it's actually something with like these attachers there and like, I think, I think those are like my flexors for like my fingers or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I need to pull out my anatomy book again, but holy crap. I think it's been causing all those issues. Um, but anyways, guys, this is the uh, right side. It's a little bit more beat up, um, especially the bicep right there. So yeah, so, but anyways, part of the healing process. 
and hopefully my grip strength on my left hand comes back. But anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.